Hey guys, we are starting here at the auction today. We are getting our lots finished up for this week, a thousand lots. Uh, we got Joe, we have uh, Silka, we have, who all we got here? Hillary is here, Lucas is here. Uh, they're all cataloging, working, getting the questions answered for cataloging. And then uh, Lucas and I are gonna go with Josh and look at an estate here after a bit, so it's gonna be a fun day. This is Joe, he's a catalog specialist here. He's testing out silver right now. Do you have anything to tell anybody about what you do? Uh -huh. Not really. It's just a lot. It's just a lot? Yeah. yeah. Is it hard to get it processed every week? Not really. I got into a good groove every week now. Okay. I get about 200 lots done a day. About 200 easy. lots? Yeah. Silka over here does a lot of the cataloging as well. She's Everybody's working on cataloging today. And uh, yeah, so when you see in these descriptions in there and uh, how good they are, this right here is a lady <laughs> that does it. She makes the magic happen around here. <laughs> what a neat lithograph all signed this is cool this came out of the florida group that we had brought back and we still have mamaw sitting here photoing so mamaw again is getting some photo work done uh, here at the auction it was a music box heart-shaped trinket box it was really pretty thank you alice you lucas right. is over here cataloging <laughs> away what are you working on right now luke oh the group that we bought yesterday from mrs j and the face of the company is hillary so when you call this is who answers the phone around here this is hillary <laughs> hello any anything exciting happening today um no not today uh today is picture day try to get all the pictures cropped and uploaded as fast as you can we are on the way to another house call um we, this call just came in this morning we had a realtor call us and we worked with a lot of local realtors and uh, there's an estate situation where they would like to move the contents of the house as fast as they can they flew in from out of state um, and we're going to go look at the antique center right now so could be a good one just looking around at all the stuff in the house here trying to figure out some prices what do you think luke pretty cool huh yeah nice house nice house looking at all the different things kind of cool that's a nice foot man it's got chips and stuff on it but you don't find a lot on this is my favorite piece so far is this phonograph i like the painted horn that i love the painted horn not all the rolls yeah this is a good setup you see like that shade's a new shade or something we seen yesterday it is it looks great in here, but I do like the quilt. It's so cool. Quilt Quilts will bring decent money right now. It's got a neat color. Well, we're in a barn out here now, taking a look, and there is a lot of old trim and woodwork uh, just stacked and stacked everywhere. Shutters. Here is a bunch of boxes. It's hard to get even get to. Um, lamp parts and ironstone and just a little bit of everything all the way through here it's amazing how much stuff is on this property barn lanterns here's some cupy candlesticks fan and i found some pyrex over here in this one um, nice pyrex with the fruit pattern the pear and the apple rose medallion jar more stuff this is interesting this is a wood well i've never had one with all of the wood pipes that is pretty cool iron pot but it's got a chunk a big hole in the side this is so crazy that every building we go into is just full and uh, we found some really cool stuff i mean you got pieces like this all right wagner no cast iron cast iron pieces and uh, lamp parts and crockery and and uh, there's some granite ware and uh, different pieces this this place is so massive and it's so full and you've got like this victorian furniture again like the last week's call just falling apart out here in these barns another part of the house we have clocks we have uh, 1886 uh, bank checks yeah isn't that a mess <laughs> I, now, why would blue. they buy a box of oh, all kind of odd stuff? This is really cool that I found this on the shelf. I like this guy There's right here. There's two or three more. There's one blue and white one. Yellowware here is kind of neat. Nice hanging one. A couple more chandeliers. I like that tall. That that's a weird shape one there. Mm -hmm. It's got some damage on the top. Yeah, it's good. Well, we are pulling out right now. 
and uh, just leaving the house. Interesting group, a uh, group that 20 years ago people would have fought over. Uh, just one come. Victorian furniture everywhere. There was lots of Victorian stuff uh, from from uh, flow blue type things to ironstone to parlor lamps to you name it. If it was Victorian era, they, they had it. But a lot of stuff chipped and cracked and damaged and it's just going to be interesting. We're not sure if we're going to get it bought or not. We are contemplating on how to go forward. Uh, you know, if it's going to be something we can handle or not. This, if we do this deal, it would take a lot of time and energy. We would probably spend three to four days to clear it out, um, and then it would take us several months to actually get through it all. Uh, and there wasn't very many, like, really good pieces in there, so it'll be a little bit more difficult to turn. I don't know, Josh. Any other? What's your thoughts about that? Group? You pretty much nailed it. It's a. It's going to be a lot of effort to get all that out of there and and get it sold. And there's a lot, stuff. Stuff. It's it's a lot of big stuff. It's a lot of big stuff. pieces of furniture that just, you know, your big carcass that brings $100 and uh, it's kind of, takes a lot of energy and time and effort and floor space. Um, even when you do go to sell it, it takes a lot of floor space. Walking into that house was like walking into a different century. What? Different that? century? I love, I love that style, how that house was. That's me. I, I just, I like that. Yeah. So what was your pick of the, the whole group? Like, what did you like? Hmm. <laughs> that little uh, table and two that was sitting in the kitchen. All that French cafe table yeah. and two. Yeah. And, and, it, was, and it had the two little side tables with it. Yes. It was a cafe, a French cafe table and two chairs with a mosaic top, um, yeah. painted white base. Just, uh, just good. It had a great look. Just too. felt it good, didn't fun. it? Yeah. That's interesting. What about you, Lucas? What was your favorite piece? Well, I like to pick things that I can easily carry, so I'd probably choose that little creamer cow. <laughs> yeah, the, oh, the silver one? Yeah, we yeah. looked at a, a, a 19th century cow creamer, uh, European. It was marked 800 silver. Um, really cool piece. Uh, I agree with you. That's kind of a, that'd be top two or three for sure. I don't know if I had a favorite one. I think that's probably one of them. <coughs> yeah. What a group. It was like walking back into a the seed cabinet was also it's not for sale explain, but it explain a, that to her they took years. a seed cabinet and they I, it's probably got a hundred drawers in it close to it a lot the full seed cabinet and it was, it was four it feet was tall really cool. they added on to the back of it they put a nice oak top on it they dropped a stove into it so it had a flat top stove and they made it their island in the kitchen and then on the back side they had cabinetry it it turned out sharp it really matched in with the with the kitchen and then he took a pie safe and pie tins and he made he made shelves and he made a cabinet out of out of an old pie safe he said it was actually partially a, a ceiling they had taken down and then the tins that he'd gotten from somewhere else yeah and he made this just a really cool cabinet a build-in it turned out really good a lot of cool features in that place. Yeah, and they're gonna put the real estate up on the market for five to six hundred thousand, and then their their goal is to get the house cleared out so they can sell the real estate. Um, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see if we can work together. They're gonna work on a price, and uh, we're working on our numbers, and we'll see if we can come together. But it, it'll be a difficult one for us. Um, the odds, I would say, are what 50 50 that we get this one. I'd say it's fifty fifty. It could go either way. Either way. So Lucas is back here at the office uh, testing some gold out and seeing if it's gold or not. Some unmarked stuff, We're trying to figure out if it's gold. I'm back here at the antique center. I just want to show you the progress that we're making on this paint job. So that whole wall right there uh, has been painted. And then I told you we're going to be re asphalting tomorrow. Uh, check it out. They got the asphalt area ready to go. So Update on the crock. It just sold. I just had seen this one yesterday on a video. And this is Nicodemus pottery. Someone had asked about some Nicodemus and what the mark might look like. So here is a piece of Nicodemus pottery that is sold today. And that piece is going out. It's signed Nicodemus. And that one is sold at 75. And this one is sold at 30. They're both signed. Lucas has got a rug that uh, we decided we are going to send off to auction. So we're going to sell this rug at the auction next week. It is signed at the bottom. It's a pictorial. It's signed right here. It's a pictorial rug. Look at the back of it one time. And uh, yeah, look at the knots per square inch down here. It's pretty, pretty tight. 
It's it's not too far off those ones that sold last week. I mean, it's there's similar. The, there's the back of the rug, the signature. I, I have no idea what that says, but anyways, that pictorial rug, we're gonna put it up at auction next week and see see what happens. Oh, you made it! Again. You're on today. <laughs> Give me a high How was it horrible? No, it's good. Josh nominated Harry for president, so uh, we want to know if you guys think that Harry, Harry for president. Be pre yeah. Harry for president, right? Yeah. We'll put it on the big board. Let's put it on the big board. <laughs> Josh is going to be speaker of the house by the season. Uh, <laughs> so. well, I don't know Jacob speaker of the house. Yeah, yeah, speak. I'm, yeah good. I'm good. <laughs> Vintage mail pouch, tobacco sign, sold two ninety five. We sold a Minnie Mouse blow mold. I'm telling you, blow molds are the most popular thing in the antique center for some reason this year. That one was 38 bucks and it is sold. So let's get this rug loaded up, Luke, and then uh, get on back down to Donaldsville, tidy up the auction for tomorrow and get out and get our work done.